Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well today. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here in this video or in any of the other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. Mm, the heavy energy. If you're returning, hey soul family. So much for clicking on the video. Mm. Heavy energy. Let's go ahead and take a few more deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. spirit guides guardian angels divine beings as well as our divine father this is energy please help me to connect with me now i will know the channels and the energies that i am meant to attract in the right amount of time let there be no hiding from you please allow me every day to come to you with love archangel Raphael, please close the door on anything that is not the highest form of light and the Catholic angels of protection and the Lord is there and will cover you all. There is no vacuum. Pain is temporary. Quitting lasts forever. I attract loving relationships into my life. So there could be some type of relationship, some type of pain associated with a connection. And your guides are urging you to start thinking positively and heal this part of your heart. There's one more here I'm hearing. There's a heavy heavy energy of sadness and pain here. What is their plan for you? What's going on here? We have embrace the glorious mess that you are. Okay. Somebody is really out of it right now. Somebody's having a hard time dealing with some type of pain associated with a connection. Shrewdness and resourcefulness of Fox. Some type of sneaky sly energy has done something with Will get back to the basics is up, upside down. Having difficulty starting over. Something to do with a man. You could be a man or this could be about a man. A relationship with a man. All of these reason, readings are for entertainment purposes only. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. A stubborn, aggressive person. Somebody, somebody here is hurt because of something someone did. Yeah, do not back down from my position of bull. So this is like a bully energy or a person that does not take ownership for their actions. Somebody's done something. Somebody's crying. Okay. Somebody's really sad here. Shark, take care or there will be a lot, a loss of material wealth. This is like I'm picking up on somebody that had a bad breakup. 
so much so this person could be like stuck not going to work or not handling their business and as a result they may be losing finances fan on the bottom of the deck romance celebration party in reverse this is a breakup a bad breakup Ancestors are trying to get you to relax, to calm yourself, to connect. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look, calm here and loss here. I mean, somebody's crying like boohoo crying, okay? Could be. See this person crying? And God is saying, I'm here and I'm trying to help you. But this person is got their hands on their knees. They're like very reserved. They're not taking heed that the divine is trying to help or their ancestors. But this person is really crying, whoever you are. I don't know if I've given my disclaimer that I'm going to do it again. These reads are for entertainment purposes only. It may not resonate with you. This is a general and not a personal reading. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. If anything comes up in the areas of mental, physical, um, mental or physical health, career, finance, love, um, marriage, therapy, law. Please do seek professionals in those areas, okay? This person was blindsided by some type of move somebody made, and this is why it's hitting so hard. I'm telling you, this person is a mess right now, stressed out, crying, unable to work. This is loss of finances, unable to connect. To have a good time in any type of way. I feel like this person can't see a way out. What else? Homeless. This person, I feel like this is this is a codependency. I don't feel like this person is physically outdoors without shelter I feel like this person feels lost without this other person there was a fight that took place that ended a connection yeah this person feels like they cannot go on perseverance is reverse this, this is getting, okay, this trigger warning. This person, I feel there's a heavy energy I'm picking up on. This person may feel like they don't want to go on. And they're going to make sure that they don't type of energy. I pray that you don't do that, whoever you are. If you are watching, there is so much for you to keep going for. There is something that the divine has for you, and that's why this message is coming out. Don't give up. Wow. Yeah, as I said that, the divine loves you. Divine, The divine sees your heart and what your intentions are. No matter what this person did, okay, the divine loves you, okay? The divine wants you to love on you right now wherever you are. Yeah. They see your heart. They know that you're a sweetheart, that you're a loving person, and you did not deserve whatever this was. And this is going to result in you birthing something powerful. Or you could be meeting someone else 
connected with someone else. Okay, partnering with another person. Okay, right now, they want you in this self-love energy. Very important. Checking this out. person is hurting, whatever I'm picking up on. God loves you so much. Your guides love you. They want you to love on you. Okay? It's going to be okay. You're going to get through this. You're going to get over this. Yeah. This is the finger. This person could have been pointing the finger at you. This person, I feel like somebody left. I feel like this person blamed you and announced with this veil energy that they were leaving. And this person did something that really hurt somebody here. Yeah, I can't make it up. Disappointment from a friend or lover. This, this person really did something that hurt somebody. Somebody's heart is broken. Temptation will test you. I feel like this person could have cheated. This person could have been tempted to do something else. And they decided to, to take the apple and leave, I guess. Which really hurts somebody here. I'm going to say like this. This person was toxic. This person has some toxic behavior. Whoever I'm picking up on, your guides are wanting you to come out of this energy of being in this codependent energy. I feel like this connection was meant to end because your guides want you to cling on to you in the divine right now. There was a lot of toxicity that this person was bringing in that you were attached to because you were attached to this person. So I feel like this is divinely orchestrated. And there's going to be, I'm hearing the word withdraw. Like, almost like what type of withdrawals you have when you stop using substances. This is that serious. For whoever I'm picking up on, you could have been in a karmic connection for a very long time. Time is up, okay? That's the truth. What else is here? I heard this person had a baby with someone else. This person that left you had a baby with someone else. Take what resonates with you. And this person decided to leave for that person. Yeah. No facts in the reverse. That's the truth. Okay, with child services here, it's like this person is going to go service the person that they had a child with. This is not like child services in the sense of CPS or DPS or anything like that. This person... This is a confirmation that this person had a child with somebody else and they're, le they're leaving you for that person. They felt like it was a waste of time to stay in your connection. Wow. Gosh. This person could have told you that their your relationship with them was played out. But your guides are saying you dodged a bullet with this person. You, with this blind card here, you do not see it that way. Carlos, this again is you feeling like you cannot move forward. Okay. Perseverance in the reverse. But you can and you will. You're going to be strong. 
you're gonna dodge this bullet and you're gonna see how blessed you are to have been disconnected from this person because this person is walking right into my lot here specifically this person okay I, I'm hearing this person has a lot of relationships and a lot of children that you are not aware of just said this person's walking straight into my yard just as it's here this person has been doing this does the collective have a child with this person okay I'm hearing no it was just the two of you in a connection no children were involved for whoever I'm picking up on but this person this person could have been planning to have a child with you as well. Or give you something, right? King of Cups, Two of Wands. This person could have some type of STD. You feel this person holding something and there's a cup. You dodged a bullet. This person could have some type of STD that you did not contract. This person could just be going around infecting people. Look at this. Ooh. With the two of wands. This person could be just going around giving folks diseases and impregnating people. This person is nuts. This is your energy right now. You're feeling sad because you did not get that cup. Thank God you did not get that cup. Look at this. I randomly grabbed this card to help me pick up this card and look what it is. You dodged a bullet. Imagine the heartbreak that you would endure if you had an STD. I hear, I'm hearing incurable. And you could be pregnant or have had a baby with somebody, got somebody pregnant that has an STD that's out here spreading disease intentionally and hopping around everywhere you dodged a bullet wow what else holy spirit you're gonna be okay i know it's hurting right now somebody's in pain somebody feels like it's all over it's coming to an end you have no idea what you just dodged angels are trying to connect with you they're trying to console you right now they're trying to help you but someone is not in their right mind state right now they're trying to help you get back focused because with this disappointment in a friend or a lover and this take care or there will be a loss of mental or material wealth i feel like you were doing well this may be the reason why this person wanted to infect you but i feel like your angels ran this person off before they could do what they wanted to do why I feel like this person became verbally abusive and wanted to hurt you because for some reason this toxic card here is giving me the energy of sick sickness STD energy those little dots and spots this person couldn't do this to you and it pissed them off 
they were very, very clingy and attached to you, probably hypersexual, wanting to be intimate with you all the time. Maybe you were declining. Maybe you wanted to really get close. We saw the heart coming out. You really wanted to get close to this person, get to know this person, really falling deeply in love with this person. And this person was not on board with that. Your angels and spirit guides really saved you okay, from this burden. You have no idea. No idea. What's the final message here, Holy Spirit? Blessed you are. <laughs> you got out of this a little heartbroken, yes, but unscathed in good health. Okay? The divine is saying we're going to work on mental health because we know it says embrace the glorious mess that you are. They love you just as you are. Pain is temporary. Quitting lasts forever. They do not want you to give up. I attract loving relationships into my life. Once you get out of this and start loving on you, you are going to be a vibrational match for the true love that the divine is bringing in for you. What else? This lover, it fell on top of this child services energy in the reverse. This wasn't it. This person is not it. This person was a knight of wands in the reverse with the sicky, icky, icky. Okay? And they are running right into their karma. They're running right into my eye. The moment they left your door and went out there to go to somebody else's house and spread disease. This person's about to... Ooh. This person? Oh my goodness. Look at them. Look how the Holy Spirit speaks. Now, it says this person's going to come in like a moth and go spread disease, but this person is running into my eye. Pay close attention to how these cards are written, okay? This is the Wheel of Fortune that's representing karma. This is this person with the Knight of Wands in reverse that's falling on top of this card here. This is the door to the house where they're going, okay? This person that they're about to connect with is going to destroy them. This person is going to be their karma. They're running into them times 10. When they get when this person opens this door, this person could also have some type of incurable disease. I feel like look what just fell out here. The Ten of Cups. This person, this Knight of Wands in reverse, is going to fall madly in love and want a Ten of Cups. I'm going to change their reign, and they're going to meet a Knight of Wands. That's going to give them a disease, potentially impregnate them, or they'll get this person pregnant, and they're going to be having the Ten of Wands. Oh my goodness, when you put it like this, Ten of Swords. Okay? works in mysterious ways. You, my loved one, dodged several bullets. Trust me when I tell you. With, with the Ten of Cups out here, you will attract the relationship that's meant for you. Okay? Anything else here? Get out in nature if you can. I know the sun will hit you. 
open up your eyes, your spiritual eyes and ears to see and hear what the divine is trying to show you and tell you, okay? It's about your self-love. They're really trying to help you right now. Journaling is going to be very helpful for you. Where's Holy Spirit? Right now, the Empress is showing up on top of this lover's card. It's in the reverse. This is you being stuck on this relationship with this lover and not nurturing and loving on you right now. This needs to be in the upright. Okay? You are the Empress. Okay? What else? This person could have came off as a king of pentacles or queen of pentacles in the upright. Somebody that's revered, that's a leader, a leader, trustworthy, almost like husband material, but this person was not it. This person was not it. This person was a king of wands, knight of wands in the reverse. And this person gave their wand, this ten wands here, spreading disease all around the town, okay? And this could have been your situation, okay? Ugh. Let's go get some advice. It's going to be okay, loved one, okay? They're wanting you to be kind to yourself, love on yourself. Be patient with yourself and not accept just anything and anyone. Tolerance in the reverse, okay? They're saying there were many signs that you ignored because you wanted this person. But I'm so glad they're emphasizing the fact that you were very cautious, unknowingly, or subconsciously about your intimate interactions with this person, it was like you were saying, I want to wait. I want that moment, or I don't want to keep doing that. I want us to grow and get to know each other. This is going to be a lasting relationship. You doing that saved you from getting this sickness, okay? They don't want you to accept and tolerate anything. You are an empress. You are a divine being, okay? And you are not out here just willy-nilly with anybody, okay? I do feel like this person stick, stuck around for a very long time before they decided to give up and move on, before they were nudged to move on. They really wanted you. There was something about you, okay? They wanted to infect you, impregnate you, for you to get pregnant by them. For them to get pregnant by you. But it didn't happen. And they got fed up. And started being verbally abusive to you. To try to break you. Which they feel they did. But they did not break you. They just had there's some temporary setbacks right now. In your emotions. But you're going to be alright. What's the final message? Jealousy, this person could have felt like this was you, okay? And by this person, I feel they were established too. I feel like this person may have a vendetta against people, against certain types of people. Maybe this person was aware you were chosen, you had a destined path, and they wanted to stop it. This person could be an agent of the devil. This person was jealous of you in some type of way and they wanted to destroy that by look at this I can't make it up by compromising your health okay now your guides are saying health is also coming out because your mental health is what they want you working on right now okay your health and well-being is very important I love you, family. 
now the fifth is going to be okay. It's coming to an end. Your guides are wanting to help you heal and get past this. It's going to be okay. You just have to know that it's going to be okay. I love you. Your guides love you. And this too shall pass, okay? Take it one day at a time. Don't rush to healing. Just start by saying, I love you and I deserve the best. Tell yourself that. I love you and I deserve the best. I am worth more than I have accepted. I forgive myself and others. I am moving on. Okay? I will be successful. I will have the love that God wants for me. And I'm going to be okay. If you are in need of a meditation, check out the Lightworks goodie bag. There are tons of really good meditations there to help you get grounded and help you to deal with the stress or anxiety that you may be feeling. Also, if you feel inclined to donate to the channel, which is never expected and always greatly appreciated, my information for that is in the description box. If you want to join the raffle or if you need a personal reading, the information is also in the description box for that. Until next time, family, peace and blessings. Ashe.